It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, coming into tonight, a couple of goals they have. Stay aggressive on both ends, but also play with efficiency. It's a delicate balance, but they know it's the key to playing their best ball. Tonight, we get to watch DeMar DeRozan, one of the more prolific scorers in the game. And Shaq, he's doing it without being a major three-point threat. MRA is always interesting when a guy is getting it done in different ways. MRA stands for mid-range assassin, in case you didn't know. Okay. And excellent on that shot. Well, he draws the defenders off the, dribble, uh, off the double team. His dribble penetration is great. What? It's hey, it's come on. Of, you're a lot you're doing so many D's and B's there, man. I can't understand. Well, I just so what's love, he doing? He's drawing double teams. Uh -huh. and How's when he his dribble penetration for oh, DeMar see, DeRozan? Oh, you almost, you almost, I you almost, almost bobbled that one too. too. Yeah, I almost is. bobbled the dribble. The dribble thing. penetration by DeMar DeRozan. That's yeah. pretty impressive. That's why I was trying to get it all out. Yeah. You know who, a guy who never has any trouble getting any of those words out? Who are you talking about? Kevin Harlan. Kevin oh, Harlan. Oh, y'all got me again. Yeah. I forgot who you're you are forgetting about Kevin Harlan. We're live, the home of the Miami Heat, American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, Florida. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge, standing by from the sidelines. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Miami Heat has established that high standard for fitness. Even Eric Spolstra has gotten into it in his late 40s. The Heat coach says when he's working out, I'm in a different place. The physical, emotional, and mental benefits, I'm hooked. Kevin? As hard as he works, great that he takes care of himself, too. DA, thank you. Hey, Brent, tonight, two strong reserve units. As a player, what are some of the advantages of coming off the bench and playing? I think, Kevin, if you think about coming off the bench and mentally you're into the game, mm -hmm. you'll understand the rhythm of when you check in and where you might be able to take advantage of what they're doing defensively, some of their offensive schemes. You might have seen the sets. So it's important to pay attention while you're on the bench and then come in and impact the game in a positive way. You can get in the flow of the game without even playing. Sometimes, and then you yeah. also get to play against another team's bench, which can sometimes help you find your rhythm a lot quicker than going up against the start. Good point. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. DeRozan and Aldridge, the talented forward duo. Murray out there with White. And it's Pirtle in at the five, home in the paint. Now here's Murray after the miss from Goran Dragic. When you look at what the Spurs went through last year, it just, it just was not a pretty season. Just not something you know, that we've seen from the Spurs in 25 years. Still clinched the playoff berth, and that was their 21st season in a row. Shot clock at six. Olenek can't hit. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Spurs. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. That's a talented guy getting too easy a look. Might have been a miscommunication on that one. Well, just the first quarter, everyone's still getting adjusted. That said, on defense, you have to bring help sooner. Now here's Winslow. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Pretty good pace on the pick and roll there from Winslow. Jumping all over the defense when they give him the room to operate. Unloads from 13, and he connects with the jumper. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Outside Dragic, past Olenek. Here's Adebayo. Good ball movement here by Miami. The shot. That's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Murray surveying the D, and DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Murray. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's San Antonio. They lead by four. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. And 
And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Spurs so far, guys, what do you think? And boy, I tell you, it didn't take them long to find their rhythm. Strong offense through one. A nice game plan coming in and right now sticking to it. It's a nice lead that they have. Here's San Antonio. They lead by four. Well, this, this Heat organization has had such a great run of success under their owner, Mickey Arison, and what Pat Riley has done to uh, pour the foundation of the culture around Miami. This is not a team that likes to throw away any chance to compete or any season for that matter. On the court right now for the Spurs, we've got Mills. Rudy Gay is out there with DeRozan, and it's Bertinus in at the five. And Whiteside stays right with it. Well, Whiteside beats everybody to the ball, but then maybe the wingspan helps out. Seven foot seven. Reach over the top, snatch that. And taken away by Johnson. Whiteside Dragic shoots over Mills. They get it back. And DeRozan sends it back. Here's Bertans. He's covered by Whiteside. Unloads from 13. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Miami Heat. It's a five-point game. In transition, here come the Spurs. And the basket by DeRozan. DeRozan's got six points. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Yeah, this is the feel of a player to use his body to keep the shot from being blocked. Excellent work there. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here is Forbes. Wade is covering. And Forbes kicks to Mills. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, Johnson's tenacity meter right now redlining. He loves taking the punishment and finishing through it. The Heat shooting their first free throw of the night here. And the season numbers for them at the line thus far are, are really poor. Something I'm sure they are making a point of emphasis. Really like how James Johnson plays his role. So expanded here within the team set. Knows he's out there to space the floor, bring some physicality, and is going to have some opportunities to make some plays with the ball in his hand. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Spurs lead by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Coach, what has to happen differently on defense in the second half? Well, a little bit more activity. Uh, we just have to be committed to what we do. Our identity to be uh, aggressive, but more consistent with it. Spo, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. At the end of the period, they held a four-point lead. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output from both teams, and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? They were really efficient on offense. Shared the basketball well, great shot selection, that accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. And Shaq, your thoughts on the heat? Reminds me of me at the free throw line. They had a rough half of shooting, under 35%. Some of that was great defense, but a lot of it was poor shot selection. They've got to revise the game plan, get guys open for higher quality looks. And the shooters need to go out and execute. Man, come on! And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. We return now to Miami where you can see all the action happening on Ocean Drive, right on the beachfront. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You gotta like what DeMar DeRozan has done in this game. 
and I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. Uh, efficient so far with the shots that he's taken. His contributions have been fantastic. For a long time, the answer always seemed to be LeBron James. But it seems fair to ask now, who is the best single player in the NBA, in your opinion? LeBron James. <laughs> Me too. Didn't you just say his name? <laughs> I thought it was I did. My front I was thinking here. it, and I guess it came out. We have so many great superstars, but you know, after last year, his 15th season, LeBron James performing the way that he did, carrying his team back to the finals. I, there's just no doubt amongst peers, and we get a chance to watch him, Kevin. LeBron James is, is still the man in the NBA. Ditto. Winslow and Olenek fill up the forward spots. Dragic and Richardson, their backcourt. And it's Autobio in at the center position. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Now here's Murray. Just as Winslow missing his last shot. Down low, here's Aldridge. Good on the 13-footer. Aldridge has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Spurs. That's where Aldridge burns defenses repeatedly. His mid-range game is so advanced and so polished, evidenced by that shot there. Yep, it counts. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And here is Murray. Outside DeRozan. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That went on Olenek. And when you look at DeRozan and, and how he's, you know, transformed himself the last few years, he has become one of the more efficient scorers at a loaded shooting guard position. And some could argue he is one of the best guards in the entire league at this point of his career. And he can't get the first one. Whiteside's checked in for the Heat. Dwayne Wade comes in for Goran Dragic. San Antonio also making some changes. Rudy Gay's checked in for Jakob Pertl. And it's Bellinelli in for White. And he sinks the second. The Heat trail by five. Richardson finds Winslow. It's Richardson on the wing. We've got 28 seconds left here in the third quarter. Just five on the clock. And that one drops for him. Olenek got his first points of the night. And really the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Now DeRozan. He's got seven. Over Winslow. Oh, and the buzzer beaters good. And they make sure to get the last shot of the quarter there. Nicely done. And good awareness there to beat the clock. Now they have a break in the action to discuss some other things. The third quarter comes to a close. Spurs out in front. They're up by five. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. Head coach Eric Spolstra mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Well, moving the ball is so important to these coaches. I mean, it helps make the offense run smoothly, Kevin. When you move the ball, more scoring opportunities open up. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the floor for San Antonio, Gay and Aldridge are up front. Then there's Bellinelli, then it's Mills, and it's Forbes in at the two guard. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
He drops the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Still struggling to find some consistency as an offensive player, but Waiters does get to the free throw line a fair amount for a guy who shoots so many threes. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And now you're in a great position thanks to those clutch free throws. One possession game now. Mills passes to Alden. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, that's pretty clever there with the pump fake. Aldridge is great at getting that defender to get up off the ground and then draw that foul. free throw is good and that gives them a four-point cushion second player taken in the 2006 NBA draft Aldridge has been an all-star multiple times and one of the game's most prolific scores over the past decade Bam Adebayo is checked in for the heat Rogic comes in for Dwayne Wade then for the Spurs Pirtle is checked in for game and it's wide in for Patty Mills so he goes two for two at the lot and it's a five-point game Two possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Dragic taking his time here. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. No good on the shot. Bellinelli against Winslow. Here is Forbes. Looking for Aldridge, he gets it there. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Aldridge has got the lead up to seven now for the Spurs. And at a certain point, there's just nothing more you can do. Well, they're nearing that point right now. Everything would have to go perfectly just to give them a shot. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. That's an incredible play from Goran Dragic. What a shot. Here is Forbes. Olenek is covering. Here's Aldridge. Makes it off the glass. Time out, time out. And the Spurs lead by seven. Full speed ahead. I mean, they have been in control since the opening tip, and that may have sealed the deal. I can imagine a lot of things right now, but a comeback, that's not one of them. And the Heat call time here. They're trailing by seven. There's 31 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. They'll try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick hoop. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, DeMar DeRozan. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Well, he needed a game like this badly. He's been struggling for a while now, but tonight he broke out of that slump in style. Now here's DeRozan after Dwayne Wade's miss. Left side, DeRozan. And he banks in the layup. And now a nine-point Spurs lead. Running up the score, showing no mercy. Well, you want to close the door on any type of comeback effort. This has been a vault. ka <laughs> You're right. And so it's the Spurs with the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said.
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Jamar, this team is playing well together. How are you encouraging and fostering that sense of all of you being together and playing well? Um, we're just making everybody comfortable. We're making each and everybody on this team comfortable. If it's jump shots, if it's attacking the basket, you know, even if it's on the defensive end, you know, we're just giving each other confidence every time we practice. And it sure looks like it out there tonight, Demar. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.